Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for skillofattraction.com and today's attraction tips video is called Women Dating Other Men. Now I run into this time and time again with some of you. You like a girl, maybe you're even, you've even been on a couple of dates with them, then either you find out or you suspect that she's also seeing other men. And this angers most of you quite a bit. And you say, well, screw her, I'm going no contact, or I'm not gonna date a girl who's dating other guys, or even I'm breaking up with her, she's not gonna cheat on me. But my question is, what exactly are you breaking up with? Because you're not even really a couple yet. So I felt that I should address this because I'm not sure where some of you got the idea that she's now your girlfriend just because she's talking to you romantically or you've been on a couple dates or even if you've slept together. Dating or sleeping together does not equal a committed romantic relationship, at least automatically. It really doesn't matter in what context you meet her, whether that be you met her out with friends, you met her at the gym, or even if you met her on a dating app. Most likely, she's already seeing at least one other man, probably even more if she's exceptionally good looking. And you should know by now that attractive women have many options with men. What most women don't realize is that these options are just men who want to bed them and nothing more. 99.99% per, of them are not good candidates for anything more than a roll in the hay. And most men are typically terrible in bed anyway, so they're not even good for that. However, women love the attention and made to feel that they're desired. So they'll accept all that attention as long as the men aren't creepy or dangerous or something. And this is why many women will not take the relationship off the phone because they're only interested in the attention. Now, as a side note, be sure to watch my video, Attention is Your Currency, so you understand how to use your attention and a woman's strong desire for attention to your advantage. Now, my point with all this is women have lots of options with men. Attractive women have even double or triple those options. But a large majority of these men, the girl that you like, are seeing or talking to, aren't even real competition for you. And if you've been studying me or other coaches, your competition is almost nil. I mean, however, you have to be patient, run good game, and let her realize this on her own. And if she likes you enough to give you a chance, she will realize it sooner rather than later that it's not even a question who she should gravitate towards. Now keep in mind that most of those guys are nothing more than beta orbiters or trying to go the friends first route, which never works. You know, they pretend to be your friend, act like they're not interested in anything more than her friendship, but in reality, they desperately want to get into her pants. And in some cases, women do realize this, but in rarer cases, women don't realize it at all. And it always baffles me when some women don't realize that some or all of their guy friends would drop everything for a chance with them in the bedroom. Obviously, those aren't real friends. And for the ladies watching, 99% of your straight male friends want in your pants. Sure, there are exceptions to the rule. I mean, I have a very attractive female friend that I'm not interested in. I mean, then again, if she asked me to come over and have my way with her, I probably wouldn't hesitate. It's just that I'm not friends with her for that reason. We're actual friends. However, she has told me that she's had some sex dreams about me, so maybe she's friends with me to get in my pants. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, those men aren't really your competition. What you learn from me has put you in front of the herd. And once you get some practice under your belt, no pun intended, you'll laugh at the fact that those other guys think that they have a chance against you. So in this Attraction Tips video, I'm gonna be discussing why it shouldn't matter that, your girl, that the girl you like or you're dating is also dating other men and how you should really look at this as actually a good opportunity. But if you guys need my personal help and you're interested in some private coaching, please head over to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the coaching tab, and there you'll see that I have several options for you to choose from. 
My coaching options include several phone coaching packages for my North American clients and several Zoom coaching packages for my clients outside North America. And I'll post the links to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below. Oh, and also be sure to check out my new merch, which can be found directly below this video or any of my videos, or by tapping on the store tab on my channel. Now, if you follow what I teach, you date multiple women as much as you can. Of course, you're going to have occasional dry spells. It happens. But for the most part, that's what you want to aim for. Dating at least, at least two women at the same time, but even more than that if you're capable. There are numerous reasons for this. One, it's so you never have any neediness. I mean, needy men are probably the number one biggest turnoffs to women. They absolutely despise needy men. When you have at least one other girl you're dating, you're not going to be chasing after a woman when she's not making herself available, when she's not giving it up, when she's not responding to your text. And you know why? Because you have another one waiting and wanting your time. Now, just imagine if you had several to choose from and you'll, you'll find them fighting for your time. Now, another reason you want to be dating multiple women is so you can really get to know her before you jump into any committed relationship with her. You're not needy for a commitment. You're not needy for her loyalty. You're not trying to you know, lock her down so no other men can just swoop in and steal her away. Oh, and just for the record, no man can steal a woman away from you unless she's open to being stolen. In other words, if a girl cheats, it's simply because she wanted to. Either her needs weren't being met in the relationship and she's lost respect or attraction for you, or she's doing it as revenge. And in rarer cases, it's because she has some sort of mental or emotional issues. But I digress. You want to date multiple women so you could really take your time and really get to know her. I mean, this way you won't be so worried about what she's doing or not doing in terms of coming towards you. You could get to know the real woman, not just the best version of herself that she's currently showing you. You're not rushing into something that most likely will not work out. I mean, that may sound pessimistic, but if your relationships worked out, you wouldn't be here watching me right now. And the fact is just most relationships just don't work out regardless. Now, besides the obvious, my point is that she's doing the same thing. She's keeping her options open until she meets a guy who she really likes, a man who she feels she could really invest in. And that's what you should be doing too. Now, when a woman feels that she must have you, she, she will begin to lock you down rather than the other way around. I've explained this before. It's, it's not a good look for a man to be trying to lock a woman down. It lowers his perceived value significantly. Plus, you'll be much more attractive to women when you have other women fighting to be your number one girl. Yet another reason for you to be dating multiple women. Now, why will you be more attractive when other women want you? Well, th this I've explained before too, but basically it's because they instinctively understand that women are only attracted to men of high value. And if other women are after you, she will naturally sense that there must be something special about you in order for all these other girls to want you. This is what we call pre-selection or social proof. If she likes you enough to want to lock you down, the fact that she has competition makes her even more attracted to you because if and when she does lock you down, she'll feel extra special that she was that one girl who had the goods to win over a high value man who's in demand. And this is one of the reasons you want her to lock you down instead of you trying to lock her down. It raises your value significantly. But that aside, this video is about women who are also dating other men and why you shouldn't let that bother you. She's doing the same thing that you are. She's weighing her options so she can pick the best man she has the ability to attract. You're also filtering out the good ones from the bad ones because the good ones believe you me, are far and few between. I used to do this same type of thing. I'd settle down with the first girl that would sleep with me. And I mean, it sounds pathetic saying it out loud, but that's what I did. And I know a lot of you do the same thing. And rarely do those relationships work out. I mean, 
once in a great while they'll work out. I actually think it was uh, David D'Angelo who called these women accidental girlfriends. You basically just got lucky. In fact, many people, both men and women, believe that some magical event takes place and men and women just kind of come together. Some make it, others don't. But really, that's no way to live your life. I mean, this is one of the reasons so many marriages end in divorce. It's a gamble. And I know you don't want to gamble with your life because choosing the wrong woman can ruin you. Now, you want a woman who you really mesh with, a girl with whom you have a great connection, one who makes a good habit of taking care of herself, a woman with whom you have similar interests, one who can, one who you share common goals and values, one who wants the same things in life and when they want it. Believe me, timing is really important. And if you're in it for the long haul, one you'll still love after her looks begin to fade because that will happen at some point. And if you don't choose a woman like that, the relationship will inevitably fail at one point or another. So you want to keep in mind that texting with her, taking her out on a few dates, even sleeping with her doesn't mean that she's now yours. It doesn't mean that you're in a relationship with her. You're just dating and that's basically what dating is. You're playing the field. When she feels that you're her best option and she's ready to settle down, you'll notice a change in her. She'll be pushing for more of your time and attention. She'll be asking where this is all going. She'll be wondering if there are still other women in your life. She'll want to put a label on the relationship. She'll want to see you more and the list goes on and on. Only when you begin to notice these changes and she begins talking about you two in the context of a couple, do you start to see her as a girlfriend. And it's not until she brings up the talk that you consider her anything more than just a girl you're dating. And once you both agree to exclusivity, then she's your girlfriend. Until then, keep your options open and assume that she is as well. This means that she's free to date other men. It was actually not that long ago, I had been dating a girl for a while and she made it very clear that she didn't want me sleeping with other girls. So naturally, I assumed that she was honoring that as well. Well, she wasn't. And I found out that she had been sleeping with someone else the whole time. And for all I know, there were even others. Had she been up front and honest about this, I would have handled things much differently between us. And I sure as hell would have been wearing a condom. But unfortunately, I couldn't trust her after that, and I had to end it. So that's just one example why you always want to assume there are others until you both agree to exclusivity. So, if you found this video helpful, or any of my videos helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up, and for you to share it with any of your friends and family, and I'd also really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol next to it, so you get real-time notifications of when I upload new videos. And in the description down below, not only will I have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page, but I also have numerous offers or links to attraction related programs that may interest you very much. But I also have a link to PayPal or my Bitcoin wallet address if you deem this video worthy of a donation. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye bye.